a video uh, today. It's uh, right before lunch time, a little after 11 o'clock. Yeah, my stove's never right. But Alexis is. <laughs> so, I'm cooking out of my pantry, out of what groceries I picked up from my Walmart haul. Uh, items that the expiration date soon, and I thought, well, maybe I can use it. Like the herb and garlic marinade, my salt, my pepper, some cloves we opened up, garlic cloves, some leftover onion, red onion from my Walmart haul, I believe, potatoes from my Walmart haul. I'm just going to scrub them down real good and cut them at least in half, maybe a little bit more. I forgot my carrots. I got these, this produce I need to move off the stove. But I'm going to go to uh, searing my, it's called boneless chuck roast. I got it for $5.45 a pound. It had been $2.40, I mean it was $2.49. It had been $4.99 for $13.12. And I bought it back in April, so... See? So I'm gonna fry it, sear it up, brown it up, and I'll bring you back. I really didn't want to pull out my brazier today. It's on the heavier side. Thankfully, this uh, roast is boneless, so I believe I'm gonna be able to get it scared up pretty good. And in the meantime, I've got to wash my potatoes and get them cut. I believe I've heard if it doesn't release from the pan, easy enough and it's not quite brown enough so it is and I'm still brown. I've got my potatoes washed and I'm going to get my hair cut. Look how pretty that roast is. Like I said, I could have got the brazier out or made sure I, oh I turned it off because I'm getting ready to get it out. We set it right there. I had it on the little one. But that's alright. It'll be good. I'm thinking to put it in the top part. Yeah, ignore me. I put my hair color on this morning. I hadn't planned on getting on camera. and But I thought I'd share it with you because I'm just doing it off the top of my head. I'm going to angle you down and hopefully into my crock pot and let you see what I'm putting together. That might get it. But I'm going to put my roast in first. And I believe I'm going to save the grease and try to make a homemade gravy out of it. Because... The roast itself in the crock pot today is not going to have gravy. It's so pretty, that roast is. So, I don't know how to, what to layer first. <laughs> Maybe I ought to put some marinade on first, you reckon? And that, I should have had it open, but that way it will. It says to leave the marinade on for 30 minutes before you cook your meat. But since this is uh, cooking in the crock pot, and since it's later in the day, I'm going to do it on high. It's going to be on there more than, more than enough. I think that's just going to make it good and simple. I don't know whether to do the whole bottle or half the bottle, so I think I'll start out with half the bottle. <laughs> The carrots will probably take longer for to cook. I washed up some baby carrots. They're already washed up, but I feel better when I rinse them off. And I'm probably going to put way too many in here because I think that's about a pound of baby carrots. I love carrots. Eli used to love carrots. He's convinced himself he'll tolerate them. And these were little bitty tomatoes out of my... Did I say tomatoes? I meant potatoes. Out of my uh, Walmart haul. So, I think I'll do them flesh down. I'm just cutting them in half. Because I know that they're going to cook fairly fast. Then again, I might want to season them first. This is how I cook. That's why you don't see a lot of videos. <laughs> I'm just going to cut them in half. 
and I'm putting six in there. That's a potato for each of us and one potato for leftover because like I said, I know this meal's going to make this pot is going to make several meals for us. That was a little bit bigger. Can you see my roast now? I can't even see my roast. Is it going to work, people? I hope. I hope it is. I should have probably put my onion in first, though. Well, here it goes. My potatoes need seasoning, don't you think? And my carrots. So we're just going to put the rest of it in here. Or... I think that's enough. I can use that in something else. And I'm going to go ahead and put some red onion in. I'm not putting the whole onion in because I have some white onion that I need to use up. And I really want to use this red onion and some coleslaw. It might be more than five or six hours. Four to six hours on high. I don't know. About overfill my pot. This is enough meal for the whole week. And I'm not kidding, the whole week. I'm gonna use that leftover onion and some pinto beans. I've decided. I think I can get by with taking just a little bit more off this onion. And I'll keep the other onion for a pot of beans. I'm gonna show you, take a top view of what it looks like and I hope we come back in four to six hours. I will let you know, cause like I said, I'm gonna cook it on high. And, uh, ah, okay, I'll be right back. Have nothing else, it starts out pretty, don't it? And I'm thinking I might as well go ahead and use the rest of the marinade. There's not hardly enough to do another patty. But I'm gonna put the lid on it, cover it for uh, 46 hours. I'll check it after, I'm gonna check it after three and a half. Yeah. I'm going to check it after three and a half, maybe three. But I'm not going to take the lid off till let's say three and a half hours because you lose heat. It's so simple. I'm just using a, a bag of the tricolor coleslaw mix that's 16 ounces. It said it makes five servings. Of course, around here, it probably will make a little bit more. Hope I got enough big enough bowl. I believe I did. Omi always tells me I use too big, and, I, and she's right, I try to cut down, but then sometimes, this is the onion that was left over from the roast. I'm just gonna quick chop it. Sometimes, lately, we've not even been putting onion in it, but onion makes it so much better. And like I said, it's just rough cut. And purple onion has such good flavor. And pretty color. How many of y'all cook like this in the kitchen? I'm not a chef. I'm just... We just cooked country when we were growing up. And this is how we did it. You don't need a whole lot of tools to do it. Don't get me wrong. I love choppers and all that. But Like I said, too, I hadn't really planned on videoing today. And this is how I... Doing it to get it done. I wait for all the proper times and stuff to do things or when I think I'm all polished and ready to go. Something happens and I don't do it. So, Like I said, it's really simple. And I believe that may be enough onion. chop this one up. I just had to give my roast one more slice, so the coleslaw on the other hand is getting one less. I know I could have done that quicker, but there I go. 
And now for the coleslaw dressing. It's some craft coleslaw dressing. It expires in September. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I already had it in the refrigerator. Let's see. Take the lid off. <laughs> Is the lid gonna come off? See, I have a hard time with everything. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. Not that it matters, I'm using all of it. I know I've not opened it yet. This is my real struggles. I'll, oh, I was gonna say I'll bring you back when I get it open, but I might just about have it. I'll bring you back. Take a hot minute, but I finally got it off, and since I've got it off, I think since I'm putting it in here, I'm just gonna leave it off for a minute. Just depends on how much I'm gonna need of it. Coat cloth, I may need all of it. No, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need all of it. It's mainly for flavor, a little moisture. It's not the kind of coleslaw I grew up eating, but we do like it. I love chunky. I love this coleslaw because it has big chunks in it. This I kind of wanted to marinate in the refrigerator today. No measurements today. Just showing you how I cook. I know we've done several videos on just, you know, quick things that we did around here to eat and stuff. I don't know if you've seen any of them yet. But, I think this is gonna be good. I don't believe I'm gonna need all of it. I used about three-fourths. I can always come back. We can always come back when we're eating and add a little bit. I better taste it. Matter of fact, with this particular dressing, I'm not going to add any salt. And I'm a salt person, trust me. But I am going to add some black pepper. And if anybody else wants more salt when they're eating, they can add it. It really doesn't need it. Just like I didn't add salt to the roast because of the marinade. I didn't even add pepper to the roast. White pepper. This is what my coleslaw looks like. And again, I'll bring you back when it's probably time to plate it up. I'm gonna eat that. Mmm, that's so good. And still have, well, really almost half for something else. Been right at four hours, and I do believe it's done. I'm going to uh, take some out of the crock pot, and I'll dish it up and show you what it looks like. And here's the finished meal. Potatoes, carrots, homegrown tomatoes, coleslaw, roast beef, and yeast dinner rolls. And must I say, it is good. I've already had a bite of That's the thing about me cooking. I like to sample. And then when it comes time to eat, I have to wait. <laughs> do y'all do that? Have to wait. But anyway, I can tell you it's good. If I hear anything different, I'll what, let you know. What did I, I hear you say? <laughs> you weren't even going to do a... I wasn't going to ask you to do a review, and I heard you from the kitchen hollering it at me. You like it? Good. Thank you.